Mayor Frank Scott Jr., City Directors, Elected Officials, Congressman French Hill, Former President of the Central High Student Body, Senator Clark Tucker, National Park Service Representatives, Little Rock School District, and Central High staff, Tiger Foundation members. We are so happy to see so many of our students, my former students, parents, neighborhood, and community supporters. We love our Central High neighborhood. Today's occasion is twofold. I feel that we are not only celebrating our future, we're also recognizing the remarkable 95-year legacy of Central High for its vast achievements in educating children and its resilience in overcoming an infamous national problem. I cannot believe this building is 95 years old. We have so much to be proud of and so much to look forward to in the future. I want to thank Pope Stanley Wilcox, our architects, and yes, their, their architect, Sarah Bennings, who we will see here shortly, who is also a Little Rock Central High grad. Do you want him to know here? And I tell she's not a bit afraid. 1999, and that holds construction, um, our general contractor, project superintendent, Boyd Freeman, where is he? He's, he has become our BFF. Santa Claus. Talk every day. You are great to work with. Uh, thanks especially to all of you who have done so much in so many ways to make this day possible. And of course, that falls right back on Ms. Pam Smith. What would we ever do without you? What would I ever do without you? Yeah, I don't know. You are terrific. Thank you. It would not have happened without you. The new science wing and the athletic facilities will significantly add to our students' development of their talents, their aspirations, and their life skills. That is what all of us here at Central, with what, with your help, strive to do every single day. Please help me welcome our superintendent, Mr. Jamal, Dr. Jamal Wright. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning on this very warm Arkansas Friday morning. Thank you, Ms. Russo, to Congressman French Hill, Mayor Fr Frank Scott, City Board of Directors, LRC Board President Michael Mason, all of our LRC Board members who are present, and all other state and local elected officials. As I stand here, I am both proud and humbled that I have the pleasure of serving as superintendent during this significant occasion. As you perhaps have heard me say, you've heard me say before, when I had the honor of walking up the steps of the historic Central High for the very first time, I was in awe then, and I am in awe right now. Never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined that I would have such a personal connection to history. And that connection, while surreal, is also very profound. We are charged with preserving this historic, this historic institution and the mission is something I do not take lightly. Tantamount to preserving history is ensuring that each student who walks through the doors behind me, no matter his or her zip code, has the opportunity to receive a quality and equitable education. Today's ceremony demonstrates another step in that ongoing journey. We aren't just breaking physical ground, we're laying the foundation for ways that we may reimagine LRSC. With the new science wing, our award-winning students will have learning spaces to match their academic talents. We understand the importance of being able to compete, not only in the classroom, but also on the field. The new athletic facilities will foster development and the nurturing of well-rounded individuals who can and will compete at the highest levels. To the voters who said yes to extending the village to support this important work, we thank you. Special thanks also to our board and my predecessor, Mike Poor, who championed this vision. Ms. Russo for her tireless leadership, the teachers and students who show up every day and demonstrate excellence, and the parents who entrust us with your most precious assets. We also appreciate the LRC maintenance and facilities team, along with the architects. Thank you for your vision. And last, but certainly not least, the construction teams of Nabos and Doan, uh, who are helping us build for the future. Thank you for an on-time project and hopefully a 
very under budget project. <laughs> it's not lost on us that at age 95, this building needs a lot of tender, loving care. You combine that, that legacy represented here, and it becomes even more important to honor the past and the historic integrity while also preserving world-class facilities to help propel our talented students toward the future. We can probably say we have well over 300 million in new construction and renovations to enhance our learning environment across our district. These new buildings send a powerful message that we are investing in student success and the success of this community. As we continue to move forward and reimagine LRC, let us remember that the true impact that lies not in the physical structures themselves, but in the lives they will shape and the futures they will shape. Thank you again, and we look forward to our continued work together. Please welcome now our board president, Mr. Michael Mason. Good morning, everyone. Greetings to you. This community has played an important role in not only Little Rock, but the entire world. As a proud 1976 graduate of Little Rock Central High School, and I am excited to see the campus move into the future, highlighting critical science and sports that will prepare our students for a modern world. This and other construction projects are for the Little Rock community and pr produced by our community. I want to thank the Little Rock voters for passing the millage that made this project possible. With your continued support, LRSD will position itself to offer the best facilities for our students. Thank you for your time, and I'm excited to serve as president of Little Rock School Board. I want you to reimagine LRSD. Hashtag reimagine LRSD. Now, I want you to welcome the Honorable Frank Scott Jr., Mayor of the City of Little Rock. Well, good morning. As a proud <laughs> Little Rock School District alumni, I dare not say the high school I went to. <laughs> I ain't going to talk about that today. But seriously, the Central High is hollow ground in this city, this state, this nation. Central High turned our nation towards a positive future because of nine young students who were courageous enough to say, I deserve an equal education. And to be here right now, if you know the story of the Phoenix Bird, we experience a time of rebirth for Little Rock Central High under the leadership of Dr. Jamal Wright, the Little Rock School Board members, and the voters of the city of Little Rock who extended a millage to ensure not only just Central High, but every school have an opportunity to have more investment and to see six, close to $60 million go towards a new Central High science wing and other investments. And I know because I graduated from high school in 2001, and when I came over here, there were portables. And to see that the portables are now moving away, it's a big deal. But it shows the investment that the school district is making in itself and the city. Because when people and families decide on where they want to live, they're going to first look at the school system, and they're going to look at high mark schools like Little Rock Central High School. And this is a big day for that investment. It's a big day for intentionality for our whole entire community. But to understand this resurgence that we're seeing in downtown Little Rock, as well as the South End, when you have millions of dollars that are pouring in, but most importantly to our youth who are here today, they may not understand the impact of this investment today, but I assure you, to the youth that I see right here, you will understand this impact tomorrow. And we say thank you. I want to recognize Congressman French Hill, who's here with us today, City Director Virgil Miller, 
as well, State Senator Clark Tucker, State Representative Denise Ennett, as well as Andrew Collins, who are all here because they are showing that this is a state and local partnership. We cannot do this alone. And by doing this together, we'll have more investment, more intentionality, but more innovation for a greater city, a greater school district together. Thank you. And now it's my honor to bring to, uh, to the podium a true Little Rock Central High alumni, Sarah Bennett, Polk Stanley Wilcox. Good morning, I'm Sarah Bennings, architect with Polk Stanley Wilcox Architects. On behalf of our design team, including Pettit and Pettit engineers, McClellan consulting engineers, and ECI structural engineers, I'd like to thank Superintendent Wright, Principal Russo, and the many others for the Little Rock School, School District who have entrusted us with the design of such an influential project on this historic campus. This project is particularly special to me as I'm a class of 99 Central High School graduate. I took my very first drafting class here and it sparked a lifelong love of design and a career in architecture. So it is an honor to be able to come back to my alma mater and work with these amazing teachers and coaches. Their dedication to these students is an inspiration. And you ought to see the long list of accolades their students have received in the, design, in the science department and the number of championships won uh, in the athletic department. Working together with them, we have designed new state-of-the-art facilities that I know will make a lasting impact um, on all Central High School students. The new science building is three-story at 67,000 square feet. It will feature chemistry, biology, and physics laboratories that are designed specifically to support the advanced placement curriculum Central High School is known for. Other spaces include a robotics lab, a horticulture lab for ecology study, a rooftop patio for outdoor learning, and the building features a 200-seat lecture hall which will support multi-class lectures, teacher training, and even community events. The two-story, 58,000-square-foot field house includes a 40-yard indoor practice field along with weight room and locker rooms. Uh, this facility will give athletes the much needed space and increased flexibility they need so that all girls and boys athletic programs can train safely in a new facility that will bolster school spirit and tiger pride. Our goal as architects is that this project complements the architectural beauty of this historic campus and the surrounding neighborhood, but above all, we have designed these facilities to represent and support the high level of academic and athletic excellence that Central High is known for. We are thrilled that uh, construction is moving forward and we cannot wait to see it become a reality. Thank you so much. Please welcome uh, Dexter Doyne with Doyne Construction. that has the task of building this building. And the other half of this joint venture is represented by my good friend, Jake Naphos. Jake, wave your hand. And um, you know, I, I, I sit here and, I, and I'm reflecting. The mayor mentioned opportunity that Central High represents. But I also think about what was happening here 70 plus years ago on these very grounds when there was much adversity gaining national attention. And who would have ever thought 
that 70 years later, an African-American contractor would be partnering with one of the largest and best majority contractors in this state to build these facilities. Now that's God, and that's God, and that's the efforts of all of the people in this state and in this nation who are positive-minded about moving this country forward. Now, J.P. and I, we're just representative. We represent our companies. And we know that the school board approved the funds, the architect, Polk Stanley, designed the facilities, and we have the task of building it. But it won't be me and J.P. out here. It is our fine staff or supervisors and subcontractors that you need to know their names. It's, it's headed by by Jeff here, and Burke, and Val, and Boyd, that's the Santa Claus looking out there, <laughs> and Mason, and Robert McKinney, and Beth. These are our troops. These are our boots on the ground who's going to make this happen and create this wonderful facility that's going to be given to the school district on time, <laughs> within budget, and with the highest quality of standards. So on behalf of the Naphost Dawn Joint Venture, we want to thank you for this opportunity. And we promise you to give you one of the finest facilities here in this state. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Please wait for further instructions concerning the shoveling ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the shovel ceremony. As I call your name, if you would, would not mind joining us behind me, getting your shovel, and the wonderful football and basketball players are going to deliver those of you who have shovels a hard hat for our photo opportunity. Then all of the students who are in your gold and black t-shirts, if you will fill in behind the shovels. Not, well, actually, not the row of shovels, but immediately behind those who will be doing the shoveling. All right? And the band. And the band as well. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, I need Congressman French Hill, Mayor Frank Scott Jr., Jake Nabholtz, Dexter Doyne, Sarah Bennings, David Porter, Clark, Clark Tucker, Denise Ennett, and Virgil Miller to fill in on this side to my right. I need Nancy Russo, Beth Maris. We'll keep it in the box. No more hard hats. We want to make sure the hard hats are definitely in the middle. Okay. Is everybody on a shovel? Okay, do not do anything until we count down, all right? Are you guys ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Um, we need you. We need your head on this. Sorry. I don't want to call you out. <laughs> I love you. Okay. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You ready? Yes. In, and we're going to lift it up really high, give it a good scoop, and just toss it out. All right? Here we go. And we're going to start from five. Five, help me. Four, three, two. Around, but we want the dignitaries in the middle for sure. Okay, y'all, um, you're going to have gathering like sardines for a photo just for a moment. And then we'll let you go, and you're welcome to take as many photos as you like. Oh. <laughs> 